Hey everybody, acting coach Amelia here, and I want to know, theater actors, why are you using a chair at your audition? Hey, if you're new here, my name is Amelia Morris. I'm an acting coach. I'm also an intimacy director and intimacy coordinator, and I love to talk about all things acting related to intimacy, drama, you name it, auditioning. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow me for more videos. So, why are you using a chair at your audition? If you're an actor that needs a chair for your own self purpose, that is totally okay. You don't need to watch the rest of this video. But for the rest of you, I'm curious why you're using a chair. What is the purpose and how does it support your audition piece? I'm not knocking the usage of chairs, but I do find it important that when I see auditions and someone is sitting in a chair, I really want to know how is this supporting what I'm watching them do with their character. A lot of theater acting does not involve sitting for most of the time. If you pay attention to live performances, whether it be plays or musicals, people are often up moving around or standing for the bulk of the show. And so I find it really hard to watch someone do an audition when they're sitting the entire time and I'm not really understanding how is this supporting their piece. I don't get to watch them in their whole body move. So the next time you're on audition and you see that chair in the room, unless it is purposeful and meaningful to your piece, leave it off the stage. And side note, don't have that chair sitting next to you, behind you, because it's distracting. What do you think about this? Agree? Disagree? The great chair debate is still going on, folks, so I'd love to hear your insight, especially with other acting coaches and directors, too, at auditions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me for more Acting Coach Amelia. Take care.